Hi, my name is Michelle Tallarajilla and I am representing California. My project is experimental optimization of root zone water delivery using a low cost surface drip micro irrigation method for regions suffering from drought. My problem statement is by 2050, the population will be more than 9 billion and all these people need to be fed. Agriculture consumes 70% of water. Also, most of the global food production is done in arid regions. Climate change causes less rainfall, aridity is increasing, and available water is diminishing, and these factors create a food crisis and a water gap. My objective is to reduce evaporation loss by using a low-cost infiltration insert and an engineered topsoil bed enhancements to surface drip irrigation. My hypotheses are that infiltration is quicker when the insert diameter is smaller with a grain size inside that is coarse, and engineered topsoil bed on the soil surface will further reduce evaporation loss by 30%. First experiment, which is insert optimization design of experiments, I had nine samples of PVC cylinders with 40 milliliters of water added to each. Uh, for jump, I input independent variables diameter, height, and grain size, and my dependent variable was the infiltration percentage. Also, what jump predicted is as the diameter decreases, infiltration increases. For my second experiment, I tested multiple different topsoil beds and I found that the perlite and peat moss topsoil bed had the best suppression of evaporation loss. For the third experiment, I combined the first two experiments with plants and I had three rows of samples. So the first row, row A, was the surface water control. Row B was the optimized with the sand insert. Row C was optimized with the pumice insert. And in each column, there was a different plant type tested. Experiment four was the field testing at Jacob's Farm. Beds three and four were amended with compost. Experiment five was the prototype gravity fed method. And this is the optimized with the emitter and the insert and the water going straight down to the root zone. While this is the conventional drip. For the evaporation model, I used these two time derivatives and fit them to the data, and I found that in 2.5 hours, 60% of evaporation loss occurs. And in infiltration, I found that the 2 centimeter diameter, 80% of the water is delivered to the root zone in less than 2 hours, so infiltration wins the race against evaporation. With evapotranspiration data interpretation, the water conserved for different samples were from 29% to 60% and the radish weights were higher for the optimal case. Using weather data, I input this data into the penman monty calculation and I found that the cumulative trend agrees well with calculation versus experimental data. And for the optimized method, there's a 75% reduction. The moisture content and the radish weights were higher for beds three and four, which were amended. And this is shown in these box plots. By combining the insert and the topsoil bed, more than 30% of water can be saved. Thank you.